All right, boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to make this drawing of the three crosses using paint on your PC, just like we did last time with one cross. We're going to do the same thing, okay? Make this. And I'm going to do it three times this time. You remember how we made the little cross the last time? Like I said, you can count if you want to to make sure that the each side is the same length on each side. Okay, and then I'm going to make the little crosses on either side. Oh, you see that I got the little paint bucket. It kind of dumps color everywhere. Let's see. Change this color. And there it is. So today's lesson is teaching the truth. And it's February the 13th, 2022. We're in lesson 22 of our, I'm sorry, lesson 11 of the winter quarter. You're in Miss Kathy's class. I'm so glad to see you. And let's see what we're going to do for our lesson today. The scripture is from Ezra. Ezra is in the Old Testament. The lesson scripture comes from the seventh chapter of, of Ezra, verses 1 through 10 and verses 23 through 26. And the key verse says, Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. And that's from Ezra, the seventh chapter and the 10th verse. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes for prayer time. Father God, we praise your wonderful name. Thank you for the opportunity to learn your word and for our parents who encourage us to learn. As we grow and learn, may we have knowledge and wisdom to share with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's look at the words to know. Oh, that's a long name. But if we break it up, it's not too, too hard. It's Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes. He was a king of Persia during Ezra's time. And Ezra we're going to be talking about is a prophet. And um, let's see Persia, Persia, Persia. If you look on the map, you don't see Persia these days. Mm, that's because Persia became uh, Iran. It's now where Iran is today. King Artaxerxes was tolerant of the Jewish people instead of first forcing them to follow the state religion. The second word is Babylon, the capital city of the ancient Babylonian empire. The ruins of Babylon are found in current day Iraq. Exile, an act or instance of being forced to leave one's country or home. Now we've seen exile a lot. We saw, we've seen the Hebrews get exiled quite a bit in that vicious cycle they were caught in. And the sentence goes, the king's brother was sent into exile for trying to steal the king's throne. How dare he? Ezra was a scribe. Uh, scribe, scribe. If you notice, S-C-R-I-B-E, that is a prefix for a lot of words 
that concern a writing or making marks on paper. In this instance, writing, everybody couldn't write back then. Only a few people could. And he was one of the key leaders to leave Babylon for the reconstruction or rebuilding of Jerusalem. Ezra taught the word of God. Decree, an order or decision given by one in authority. The queen announced a royal decree that stated that everyone would work five times a week instead of seven. How nice of her. Diligence is the next word. Careful and continued work. With patience and diligence, you can succeed. That includes in your schoolwork, right? Gracious is the next word. Marked by kindness and courtesy. Miss Brown was very gracious towards her guests. Imposed to establish or apply as a charge or penalty. A fine will be imposed on drivers who park illegally. The next word is Levite. Remember we talked about the tribes of Israel. These were the priests, the priest tribe. A member of a tribe of descendants from Levi, one of Jacob's 12 sons. They worked as priests. Ezra was a Levite. Prescribed to lay down as a rule of action. God prescribed many rules for us believers to follow. Wrath, violent anger, punishment for a sin or crime. In the Bible, there are many instances in which those who disobeyed God suffered from his wrath. Now, Ezra, the seventh chapter, verses 1 through 10, followed by verses 23 through 26. After these things, during the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra, son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalem, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Marioth, the son of Zehariah, the son of Uzi, the son of Buki, the son of Abishua, the son of Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra came up from Babylon. He was a teacher, well versed in the law of Moses, which the Lord the God of Israel had given. The king had granted him everything he asked, for the land of the Lord his God was on him. Some of the Israelites, including priests, Levites, musicians, gatekeepers, and temple servants, also came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. Ezra arrived in Jerusalem in the fifth month of the seventh year of the king. He had begun his journey from Babylon on the first day of the first month, and he arrived in Jerusalem on the first day of the fifth month, for the gracious hand of his God was on him. For Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord, and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. Verses 23 through 26. Whatever the God of heaven has prescribed, let it be done with diligence for the temple of the God of heaven. Why should his wrath fall upon the realm of the king and of his sons? You are also to know that you have no authority to impose taxes, tribute, or duty on any of the priests, Levites, musicians, gatekeepers, temple servants, or other workers at this house of God. And you, Ezra, in accordance with the wisdom of your God, which you possess, appoint magistrates and judges to administer justice to all the people of Trans-Euphrates, all who know the laws of your God. And you are to teach any who do not know them. Whoever does not obey the law of your God and the law of the king must surely be punished by death, banishment, confiscation of property, or imprisonment.
key verse, Ezra had devoted himself to the steady and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching his decrees and laws in Israel. Ezra, the seventh chapter, the 10th verse. Now we're ready for our lesson book story. Teaching the truth. Ezra was a scribe, a teacher. He studied and taught the law that, gave, that God gave to Moses. Ezra lived life by what he taught. Because Ezra obeyed God's law, God made everything Ezra did great. Ezra is in exile in Babylon, which means he was away from his own home. He had been taken to Babylon with other Israelites from Jerusalem. In today's passage, Ezra went back to Jerusalem with priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, and servants of the temple. Artaxerxes was the king of Persia, modern day Iran. He gave Ezra everything he needed on his trip to Jerusalem. Artaxerxes made a decree or rule that leaders were to give Ezra anything he needed to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, but he could only have a certain number of supplies to take. The king also made a rule that none of the temple servants, singers, or workers had to pay any type of tax. The king allowed Ezra to pick leaders to rule the people with goodness. Ezra taught the laws of God. If people did not obey the laws, then they would be punished by death, placed in prison, or sent away. Questions. Who was Ezra? Ezra was a scribe or teacher who studied and taught the law of Moses. What did Ezra use to select the judges to rule the people? Ezra used wisdom from God. God directed him to select the rulers of the people. And now it's time for our contemporary story and Ruby's Lab. Learning God's Word. The contemporary story for February 13, 2022. When Sierra and her parents went to church, Sierra did not want to sit at the front of the church during the children's lesson. When Minister Williams called the kids to the altar to teach a lesson, Sierra was the last to go. After the lesson, she was the first to leave. I think it's time for Sierra to go to Sunday school. Her teacher will help her learn so much. After church, Sierra and her parents always talked about church and what they had learned. Sierra was usually quiet, but she listened. Next Sunday, we're going to Higher Ground Fellowship Hour or Sunday School. You'll learn so much about God and how much He loves you. The next Sunday, everyone went to their Higher Ground Fellowship Hour Sunday School class. After class, Sierra's parents waited outside Sierra's class. They heard Sierra talking, then the class prayed. When Sierra came out she immediately hugged her parents and she said, Thank you, mom and dad. My Sunday school teacher is great. I learned so much about God. I can't wait until we talked about what we learned. Did Sierra like to hear the children's lesson? No. She was the last to go up and the first to leave after the lesson. Did Sierra like going to Sunday school? Why? Yes. She learned about God. Her teacher was great. When we go to church, there are many things we can do. For example, we can sing in the choir, pray, go to Sunday school, and listen. God wants us to listen to our leaders and teachers so we can learn more about God's word. When we learn more about God, we can obey God and tell others about him. The end. You can be the voice of a cartoon character in a future contemporary story cartoon. For details, send an email to Ms. Kathy's class at mail.com. 
exploring the story in Ruby's lab with me, Ruby. Hello everyone, Ruby here. Let's look at a map of the trip Ezra and his companions traveled from Babylon to Jerusalem. This was Ezra's first trip as he led the people back to Jerusalem. It took them four months to travel to Jerusalem. Four months. It was a long trip on a dangerous road because a rebellion or disagreement had started in Egypt in the spring and started a war. Ezra led them to Jerusalem. He taught them the laws of God. This week, pray for God's teachers as they help others to learn God's word. Have you learned about God's word? Tell me what you've learned this month in this quarter and share that with me in an email to rubyredpanda at mail.com. That's rubyredpanda at mail.com. <laughs> See you later. All right, we're going to do this uh, truth acrostic. Okay, now we have the word scribe vertically, S-C-R-I-B-E, scribe. And since it's vertical, we have some across words. Uh, for instance, the S will line up with the third letter in a um, six-letter word, and uh, the C will end up in another word, and so on. And the, the words in the word bank are decree, devoted, justice, obey, teach, and wisdom. Let's look at, uh, oh, since the third letter, is S in the first word. Let me get a pen here. Let's see what that word could be. Could it be justice is the third, S is the third letter, and wisdom, S is the third letter. Let's see. After S, T, I, C. So there are more letters in wisdom. Wisdom only has one, two, three, four, five, six letters. So let's put wisdom here. W, I, the third letter, S is already there. And they're already in all caps, so that's how I'm going to write them. Oops. The second uh, word has a C near the end. One, two, three, five letters. Five letters in this word. And there's a C. Oh, there it is. As we cross out wings, we see T-E-A-C-H, teach. Let me put that there, T. Do you see the next one so far? The next one is going to be, it has an R as the fourth letter. Do you see that? R as the fourth letter. What letter up there goes with that for R as the fourth letter? Well, there's only one with an R in it, and that is decree, D-E-C-R-E-E. -E, and the R is already there as we write D. Yeah, sorry, I can't write any faster with this. Oh, and no faster and no better either. The next word has, let's see, the letter I is outlined. I mean, it's mm, highlighted as the one, two, three, four, the fifth letter. So let's see. Justice is the only one there that has an I in it. So we're going to put J U S T. I is already there. And we end with a C E. So let's see. The next one is a four letter word with B as the second letter. Uh, it's got to be obey. That's right. O B is already there. And E Y. And the last one we know has to be devoted, T E V O T E D. The second letter is already there, D, I mean E. Uh, come on, write for me, you devoted. All right, so we got that filled out pretty good, pretty well. I'm sure you can write faster than I can with a pencil in your book or on a paper than I can on this. All right, we did pretty good, huh? Where is it incorrect is the name of this activity. Read each sentence below that is related to today's lesson. There is a word wrong in each statement that you'll need to correct. Cross through the word, and then we're going to write the correct word in the line after. The so number one is, oh, in order to make it correct. Number one is Ezra was a king in exile in Babylon. Was Ezra, uh, wait, was he a king? Oh, no. So we're going to cross out king, and we're going to put what he was. He was a teacher, that's right, or scribe. Number two. Ezra studied the ways of Moses. Oh, and I know why that laws is there. It's because we're supposed to cross out ways. And I had written uh, ways by mistake and then crossed it out and put laws. Ezra studied the laws of Moses. 
Number three, Jonah traveled with the priests to Jerusalem. We weren't talking about Jonah, although he is in the first in the new in the uh, in the Old Testament as well. Who traveled around that we were talking about? We were talking about Ezra. Number four, priests gave Ezra everything he needed as he traveled to Jerusalem. Oh, yeah, you found that one. It was not priest. It was the king, Artaxerxes, the guy whose name sounds like a craft tube of craft paint that we used to use <laughs> uh, to color, to make designs on cloth and T-shirts and stuff. Number five, the priests and workers at the temple did not receive taxes. Uh, let's see. What's the correct thing? Ah, they didn't uh, receive is crossed out. What replaces it? They were not to pay taxes. And number six, with wisdom, Ezra put in place the king to ensure that the people did not disobey the laws. Uh, Ezra couldn't put the king in place, but he could put judges in place. Correct. So now let's look at the lesson review. The key verse, once again, Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. That's from Ezra, the seventh chapter and the 10th verse. Now let's look at King Artaxerxes I. He allowed Ezra to return to Jerusalem from exile in Babylon. For you see, once you had fulfilled whatever debt you owed, you were let go from slavery. You were not considered subhuman. You were considered a captured uh, people. And that's the difference between slavery back then and slavery that happened in the United States. Um, so they provided resources he provided resources for the rebuilding of the new temple and just basically just m making sure Jerusalem was a good place to live because it was time for all the Israelites to go home. So he ordered Ezra to get some new leaders for his his um, rebuilding its cities like judges and magistrates in Jerusalem to help reestablish that city. Now Ezra was a scribe. A uh, scribe comes from some writing, someone who could read and write. He was literate. That's what that means. Someone who can read and write. And he had a heart for studying. And he was avid about living God's law. God was with Ezra in his work in making sure he could rebuild that temple and get that Jewish community back to its location community. Um, Ezra and his he, Ezra was able to appoint judges and magistrates, and um, they were to teach God's law to all of the people. All right, boys and girls, it's time for me to go. You know, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Be sure you have a Valentine for everybody in your class tomorrow, all right? It just makes sense. And it's a nice thing to do for everybody to be able to have Valentine's from everyone in their class. Don't you think? All right. It doesn't mean that you're going to marry anybody when you're seven and eight years old. It just, it's just a nice way to celebrate the holiday or the, uh, the celebration with everybody in your class. All right. Now we're leaving. Okay. Emoji. Okay. Emoji. His email is E-M-O-G-E-E, -E, no spaces, at mail.com. Ruby's already told you hers. And you know mine is Miss Kathy's class at mail.com. Send us a letter or two. Drop us a line. Send us your artwork. And God willing, we'll see you next week because we love you. God loves you too. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>